Welcome back to the channel. This is Andrew with Running with Dr. Andrew. And today I'm doing a 10 mile run and it's pretty good weather so far. Uh, my legs are pretty tired. I did uh, some pretty good weight lifting yesterday on my legs and they are a little sore from yesterday and also did some a little bit of legs today and did some upper body and uh, definitely feeling it in my run today, but it's kind of getting some easy run a miles in today maybe a little bit of strides here and there just to kind of get the run down uh run done with and uh i'll have about 50 miles at the end of today and got 16 miles left to go so about eight on saturday and about eight on sunday and that'll conclude the 66 miles of the week and man it is tiring but you know what my present self today will thank my future self on November 22nd uh, that I did all these miles there and all the training and that I did. Whew. This is definitely a tough run. Uh, it's definitely not going to be a record-breaking 10-mile run. I think that's okay. So it's more time on my feet and running on tired legs will make you stronger. And so if you're doing a marathon program don't be frustrated if, you know some of your runs are not as fast as they are remember each day everyone should every run should not be equal meaning your paces should not be equal all the time it should be majority of them nice slow steady pace you know maybe like a minute to a minute and a half slower than your race pace and then about 20 percent you're doing your tempo run you're doing your speed work you're doing strides things like that just to kind of keep your legs fresh uh, for each run so that's how i run every day just to kind of get all those mileage and that's how i can run every day is because every run is not equal because if it, if it was i would not be running the mileage that i am you know i'm just trying to build my aerobic uh, base getting used to running for all those miles so that way when i up to the starting line 26.2 miles the distance wise is no problem and then also my my tempo runs and my my speed is what's going to get me my pace that i want to achieve and my speed for that distance there good morning everyone welcome to the channel this is andrew with running with dr andrew and today we're doing a three one three mile repeats and with a mile warm up as well as a mile cool down. And I've already done the mile warm up and I've got three miles to go. And uh, my legs feel pretty, pretty good, but pretty sore, but I feel pretty good after the warm up. So we'll see how these one mile repeats uh, go. And let me know how in the comment, are you guys doing one mile repeats uh, for your training? I've been enjoying doing them. It feels like that's helping out a little bit to get a little bit of strength and speed and a little bit more turnover. <clears throat> I'm trying to get at least close to race pace. It's a little harder out here because I'm not on the track uh, and it's a little hilly. So definitely it's, it's a little bit more challenging, but the marathon is hilly. So definitely that's going to be a challenge for me. All right, guys, let's get after the first one. All right, I got done with two one mile repeats. The uh, first one was about 7.50. This one was about 8.03. So definitely pretty decent times better than it was last week or uh, even the week before so definitely getting underneath that eight minute mark out here is, is actually pretty good just because it is uh pretty hilly and uh, um <clears throat> definitely challenging so this next one may be a little bit lower just because there's a little bit downhill but then when i turn back around i have to go up uh, up a hill and so I really have to put my arms and really get going there too so, which is good it kind of gives me uh some hill repeats a little different uh, aspect compared to doing on the track and i get the kind of uneven 
aspect of the of the road too so that definitely helps out with training and uh, getting used to running on the on a road uh compared to you know on the track there too so but hopefully i'll be able to get back to the track maybe next week i'll be able to get back on the track there and and do some more speed and maybe some plyometric work there uh definitely needing to kind of do some of that i believe i heard you know around six weeks after six weeks of training definitely start doing a lot of uh you know, speed work, a lot more speed work than I have been doing. I had just been doing past few weeks, just doing some mile repeats and uh, doing some strides during some of my runs. Um, and now I'm going to kind of get a little bit more specific on the uh, speed training as I can uh, find time and everything. So definitely that's a kind of a challenging thing. Uh, definitely if you work full time and, and family and all that stuff, definitely it's hard to kind of find the time to get going. Like this morning, I, I woke up fairly early around 5.45 or so to kind of get around to get ready to run by 6.30. Well, that was... Uh, the last mile, I did it about eight minutes, maybe a little bit less, 7.58 or so. Uh, definitely pretty challenging. Had to really pump up this hill here. here, And uh, good workout so far. Now I've got to do my just easy recovery, one mile uh, recovery run. And then we'll be all done for, the, for this morning anyway. I may do a little bit of running once I, uh, a little bit running later on today. Uh, just to kind of shake out my legs a little bit. And we'll see just in a little bit after I get done with the one mile repeat. Just got done with my run today. I uh, definitely felt pretty good with my my legs and still a little sore, but uh, I think definitely tomorrow will be a little bit more recovery type of runs. And maybe this evening we'll uh, kind of do some more recovery runs uh, than we had done, done before. And, uh, and so that way I get ready for next week. And I'm about 53 miles, so I'm a little behind. So hopefully I'll maybe catch up. I'll at least get up to 60 miles. I know I wanted to do 66, but that's okay. I definitely had some good quality runs. That's what I'm looking for. And also I had a good quality long run this week. So that definitely uh, was kind of the big run. And uh, that seemed to kind of help out a little bit there too. So cooler weather has been helping out as well. It's not as hot, so it uh, feels, feels pretty good. Uh, especially in the morning time you know later on it, it is going to get a little warmer in the 90s uh, but uh, uh don't think it's going to last too long just a few days and get back up into upper into the uh <clears throat> high for the 80s and lows in the 60s definitely really nice weather definitely enjoying the uh cooler fall weather hopefully we'll continue to get some more cool fall weather so this concludes this uh video uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit subscribe and ding that bell so you don't miss any other uh, videos. Hope everyone keeps safe, keep running, and we'll see you next time.